All right, um, Rob, we had a fan gate last night. All right. Yes. Uh, the L.A. Lakers, and LeBron James. it wasn't James. involving the Patriots because they were always in something gate, right? Right, <laughs> so, right. Spy, spy gate. gate uh, deflate, deflate gate. gate. <laughs> what did you call it with the – The camera what, gate. What was that called? What? what? Spy – well, spy no, gate. not Spygate. When I'm talking about the last one at the Bengals game. Yeah, they called it Spygate 2. Spygate 2. And, spy was, and what was spy it, Rob G, G for uh, owner Robert Kraft? What was that called? Cream Gate? What was that? <laughs> Let's just move on, Rob. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Anyway. You're fired. Um, what? You got so a LeBron James, That's all. LeBron James wow. and the Lakers are playing in Atlanta. Against the Hawks. And, and Atlanta's one of the few places where they can have a certain amount of fans. I, I don't remember the percentage, but they can have some fans there. Well, you know, fans Georgia and Florida, out. you know what I mean. They're oh, like, yeah, they, uh, they like run it out happened. like ain't nothing. Right. right, 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 right. So, anyway, uh, a, a longtime Hawks fan who's generally there courtside at games and has gone at LeBron before, he is going at LeBron. Now, I don't know what he's saying, but – LeBron thought he crossed the line at one point, said something back to him. And the the man's wife, now the, the man, how old is he, guys? 60-something? 66, I think? 60-something. His wife is 25. I'm just saying. All right. His wife is and wife, anyways, Chris, they love each other. Did you, you don't know, know what that? their you don't know what their relationship is like. What you got some nerve Rob, to pass judgment. You know. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> Let me tell you how they met. He was walking by the schoolyard with lollipops go... in his pocket, oh, and God. somehow she followed him home. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> just because you want to marry a 25-year-old no, I don't. at 54. What are you, 57? 57. I'm wow. not marrying a young woman. You know you why, You don't Chris? look at anybody over 35. No, but I'm not I've married been with a young you. Woman. I've hung with you. <laughs> I've seen attractive middle-aged women throw you a little rhythm, <laughs> and you got nothing for him. I'm like, dude, what's up? You know I'm right, Rob. What? <laughs> so anyway, yes. But but I I tell you, and you've said this before, because I'm my daughters are 22, and I can't even fathom. Obviously, there's. Tons of attractive 22-year-olds out there. I can't even fathom, like, you know, dating. If my if something happened to my wife, a 22, a girl that's the same right. age as my daughter. No, no, no. You that would be saying? weird like, for you, like, but I don't have any right. daughters, so it's different. <laughs> <laughs> that's Big Daddy. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to say, all them women you be going to see on your little dates to uh, these certain clubs right they're young they're young right. they're young rob they, they ain't even 22 some of them come on man but anyway let's move on all right um so anyway his wife goes at lebron and uh it became a big story i think lebron had a great attitude toward he kind of laughed it off he didn't even think they need to be ejected the cops the security came and eventually ejected those two and their two guests with them from the game from the arena. and uh, But I think, Rob, the woman here, I'm just going to let her play. She went on social media, and here's what she said about the incident. LeBron James looked at my husband during the game and cussed him out, and I stood up and I go, don't talk to my husband. Talk to my husband one more time, and I will you up. And he started fighting with me. He goes, shut your mouth. And I go, you shut your mouth. Golly. Now, Rob, LeBron called her courtside Karen. He tw- he didn't call her that at the game, but he tweeted it later that courtside Karen was mad, mad. Now, you know, Karen has become kind of a term for racist white women. Right, because that, that happened in, that remember, Chris, in New that York, right? The bird Park. watcher or the dog watcher? The dog, he, right. The guy, she didn't watcher. have her dog on a leash, and a black guy said, can you put your dog on a leash? That's a law in the, in the state right. of New York or New York City or right. New York State. And she was like, called the police and said, oh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to tell them that a, a black bl- guy's right. harassing me or whatever. And 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 that she, her name was Karen. And that's really where that yeah. came from. Right. So they say now I got to be honest. I, I think seeing some pictures of her since then. She clear. I think she looks white. Right? I thought she might be Hispanic. At first, I thought she might be a light skinned black person. Then I thought she could be Hispanic, but Rob G. she she's probably white. 
Rob G, what do you think? I think she is white. Uh, I think she's, she's like, very skinny, like two shades lighter than Chris. So I guess that's white. I don't know it? if she's even lighter than me, but I mean, her <laughs> Chris ethnic, is lighter I mean, than some she, white people. I, I, de- I am. I definitely am. I mean, I'm lighter than Rob G, even though he's not white. But, um, but you know, but anyway, okay. I guess she is white. I guess she's white. You didn't have any thoughts, right? She didn't look like she could be Hispanic. Um, I maybe I'm thinking because of the guy's name is Carlos. His last name well, is Carlos. I, is he? He's. Hispanic, I guess maybe, maybe. Be, I mean, she has so much work done. It's hard to tell what she. I is know. At this point. I, I wonder I what she looked like at 17 or 16. You know what I mean? Right. I don't want to say that. Uh, you know, she's had so much work done, but some, when she sits down, her mouth slams shut. You know what I mean? Everything's <laughs> pulled so tight. <laughs> she yeah, has had yeah, a ton yeah, of work yeah. done, man. <laughs> But anyway, uh, LeBron, here's LeBron after the game about it. I'm happy fans are back in the building. I miss that interaction. I need that interaction. We as players need that interaction. I don't feel like it was warranted to be kicked out. There was a, a, you know, a back and forth between two grown men. Uh, and, you know, we said our piece. He said his piece. I said my piece. And then when someone else jumped into it and, and, and said their piece. Here's what I'm going to say, Rob, and then I'll pass it to you. When I first heard and saw what was being said by these two, I the woman said LeBron called her the B word. And you that that bleeped out excerpt we played, that was she was saying he called me a blank and B. Shut shut up you blank and B and all that. And I thought as wrong as she was, LeBron should not, there's no justification for him calling her that. And however, when we heard the tape of, you know, there's a tape of kind of what transpired on the court. LeBron didn't say that. I mean, maybe it's not on the tape, but he didn't say it. Well, we heard enough where, like, when he was kind of, no, I'm not, I'm you not know, in he her vicinity. Yeah, saying, I don't yeah, think, yeah. He, I don't think, and Rob G can chime in if he wants. But I don't think LeBron said that. Like, he really, I don't know what Rob he said G, to her, hear, but did you see he hear? wasn't talking like he said. that. He said the dude was an old steroid, you know, ass. Can you say, I guess we can say that. He said that. Say ass. And oh. he, he, he said ranky, but, you know, he didn't. He did, I don't think he said it. And my point is this. She should not be a cute. LeBron James is obviously a internationally known superstar. But he's also known for his philanthropy, you know, all the stuff he does in the community. He has a certain reputation. Now, we know he curses and all that. We've seen him on his shows and stuff. But if he were to just call another man's wife that on the court and say that to some woman, I think that would hurt. That could hurt his reputation. And I just think it's wrong for her to come out and say that when it appears that he didn't say it. I also think for her to jump bad, like, I'm going to F you up, LeBron. I mean, stop it. Just stop it, really. Stop it. You ain't about to do nothing. Now, we're like, you're trying, what, what are you trying to do? I mean, jump up I, in a, a a man's face like you going to, your husband, I'm sure, can protect himself better than you could. I think, Rob, that she is trying to get, become like a social, a star. I think she really is trying to, trying to become a star. Well, you uh, pick with LeBron, got, maybe, maybe he'll yeah, say something. Yeah. You'll get some air time. There's always a chance of that. But I, I, I do believe fans have a, a particular, uh, have some rights. And when they buy tickets, like I've heard players say, fans, they should never boo. You know, the players are out there trying. I don't disagree. I, I disagree with that. I fans have a you. right to boo Chris. And, and show displeasure the way that they cheer. And I think that, players understand that, right? That some players, right. I've heard players, oh, I would never boo. No, no, y- yes, you would. I right. remember when, you remember when the Dodgers lost that to the, to Washington, Chris, and everybody walked out of Dodger Stadium. They, they sell 4 million tickets a year. People love the Dodgers. They were pissed. They were yep. pissed. You, you wouldn't have walked out? I would have walked out. I'm serious. Right. So, so there's agree. a time where you could be, unhappy with your team's play and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to deal anymore. So you boo. You can't, you know, start using racist terms and and getting in the gutter and calling people names and throwing stuff or any of that stuff is out of bounds. But poor, but booing 
and showing displeasure or razzing somebody, Chris. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference right. between razzing and harassing or being threatening or being vulgar. Those are the things that you don't want, but fans do have certain rights. No, I agree. I think they can go there and cheer and boo and even talk to the players. LeBron, right. you bum, you know, stuff like that. That's fine. And I think the players get that. LeBron said he likes the back and forth. But when you start cursing, profanity, calling guys out of their names, you know, bum is, you know, acceptable. But when you start calling them, you know, really derogatory expletives and things like that, um, when you start talking about their family and all that stuff, that, to me, is when you've crossed the line. And to be honest, Rob, I think vice versa, too. I think with players, you can go back and forth with a fan, have fun with them. You yep. know, uh, y- y- your team sucks, you know, y'all ain't no, whatever you want to say to him, you know. Chris, you know. Talking about his you- shoes, his clothes, whatever. But when you start, I don't think a player should be cursing, can be cursing at fans nah. either. They represent right. the organization, Chris. You can't have that, right? That behavior. Right. I agree. Right. Right. But but right. you remember around the league when I was covering the NBA, Back in the 80s, you would go to certain cities. There were guys. Detroit there was, that was lawyer. one of the worst, Rob. Who's that? Detroit was one of the, the worst. The bar, places. right? Right behind, behind the right behind the visiting bench. Right. The bar, his right. name was the barber. I can't remember. Leon the barber. That was his name. Leon the barber. He used to just ride players the entire yep. game, Chris. And, yep. and there was a guy, Fickle, Fickle in Washington, D.C. In Washington. Who, Robin Washington. Fickle, yep. was that Wizards. his name? He was a yeah, lawyer. Yeah, I think that it's something like that. Something like yep. that. He was another guy who was very loud and vocal. And, and players it, liked it. I yeah, mean, they, they, they laughed. Robin Fickle. They laughed at Robin that. You Fickle. know what I'm saying? I saw, I remember seeing players sitting on the bench. I think it was the Knicks when I was covering them. Laughing, him. right? Laughing at some of the stuff right. the dude would say. You know, it's it's because I think they they're cool with it like that. It's a part of the, it's a part of the whole thing. You know, like are oh, we going to Detroit? Leon the barber's going to be on us. Right. Somebody got right. a different haircut. Somebody's wearing. You know what I mean? Or something. Right. He's going to ride that player all night. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, we're gonna throw it out to you guys. Uh, how far is too far when fans trash talk with athletes? All right, let's kick it off with Michael in Washington. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Michael? Hey, guys. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. We are great, great, man. Thanks for calling. Yeah, I really appreciate your stance uh, about LeBron on this. It wasn't a a huge pro-LeBron. He can do no wrong like Shannon Sharp thinks. Shannon Sharp probably thinks he could have gone in the stands and punched that lady in the eye and been okay with it. (laughs) Um, That being said, you can go too far, I think, first of all, by using the F word. I don't care whatever you're saying. If you're, if you're using the F word at a player, I think you should be thrown out. I think any racist, derogatory, derogatory term, you need to be thrown out. Absolutely. Um, that being said, we should always let the fans do their thing, scream and yell and say, you suck. That's okay with me. Saying, you suck, you can't shoot Agreed. free throw, Shaq, that right. type of thing. But – On LeBron's side, he's calling himself the GOAT the last few years, and he's going to go after some, you know, 20-something white girl in the stands. It's not a good look. Well, he didn't say anything to her, though. He was talking with her husband, who who had started it by talking with LeBron. Right. Supposedly he said, you know, she was whatever, but you guys are kind of saying he didn't. The B word, yeah, if he did that, that's obviously wrong. But I don't think if he he did say it. Oh, he yeah, that, that's terrible. So, so, yeah. Yeah, we, right, right. Totally agree. And I but think, I don't think he did from what I heard. To me, LeBron is, is yeah, I, I probably would agree with you, but I think he's on a slippery slope with some of the things he's starting to get into with fans. And I know a couple of years ago he said something like, somebody said something pretty wrong to him. They were always on his back, and he said something like, I was at your mama's house or something like that. Uh, if you guys remember that, it was kind oh, of funny in my that. opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, they were shooting free throws, and he said something. Somebody was really on him, and he and I cracked up a lot. But now that I see like a second and third, inch, I'm starting to think he's on a slippery slope. And if he doesn't watch out, it will definitely hurt his, you know, his overall the way people look at him. So hopefully, you know, he this is it for him. 
I know he's like you said, he's a big philanthropist. Uh, you know, he's just in the Yep, yep. Yeah, and you guys didn't really touch on him calling her a Karen, which in these times I thought if it's a racist term, he's calling her a racist. Then, right? Yeah. Is it? Is it? I don't know that that's viewed as a racist term. Calling her a racist, uh, yeah, I she, guess. She's out of control. Like, yeah, I yeah. I mean, he's he's putting her in that category. I don't yes. think he's def- definitely calling her a racist. But. Okay. Uh, Brian in Seattle, you're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. Oh, hey, guys. Thanks for having me on. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Thanks for calling in. Well, so I think it's fair to heckle after a certain amount of years that your team has not made the playoffs. All right, so I think that you can make fun of. <laughs> so well, you talking about Seattle heckling Mariners, your own obviously. team. you talking about heckling yeah. your own team. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's very personal, okay? So, yes, I think the Seattle Mariners, you can heckle every single one of their players if yes. you go to watch a game. <laughs> but also, save our Sonics. We definitely want them back. Love them. Um, you guys, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having me. All right. All right. Appreciate he didn't it. have too much to say. No. Marty and <laughs> He's one Marty in Kentucky. Air. I was going to say Marty in Pittsburgh. I can't believe that. Marty in Kentucky, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Marty? It's okay, Rob. You know my heart's in Pittsburgh. <laughs> I know. That's why I almost said it. What's up, Marty? <laughs> What's up, fellas? Um, Marty, let me ask you this. Did Rob bet you Jordans about Brady? No, no. Okay, because he, he bet just about everybody else. I'm just saying. <laughs> No, River um, beat me out of a pair of Jordans. He had Brady. <laughs> You'd be surprised. River charms people out of a lot of things. Yeah, I bet. Um, courtside Karen, I'm going to tell you my opinion. I think this this female is a – and I'm not going to call her a lady the way she acted on her social media or YouTube or whatever she posted a video on. Even at the game, it was like, come on, relax. I, She's a parasite. She's trying to leech off LeBron's right. fame. And right. you guys know that I am not a LeBron fan. But she is trying to leech off LeBron's fame and make a name for herself. Yep, I agree. She if you're gonna if you're gonna stand up to this two hundred and sixty pound superior athletic man and say, I'm gonna <laughs> expletive right you up you you know even if he said what she said he said to her i don't care she she started it she started the, right the trash talking so really i mean i don't know who you know who to believe but even if he said what she said i don't got an issue with it but uh, she's a parasite her her lips got more botox in them than I think I've ever seen. She and, got more than Botox, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just keeping it real. I agree got totally more with you. Her than I've ever seen. You know, face. she was on TMZ today. I don't know if y'all know that. No, I'm well, she, sure she's yeah, yeah, yeah. every opportunity. Yep. So she, yeah, I mean, I agree with Marty, his premise that she she's trying to make a name for herself, Rob. And uh, maybe get famous. Well, but that's why LeBron know. shouldn't even respond, Chris, because because you already know where they're going. You should. You just gotta ignore it unless somebody really says something that's foul or racist. Just ignore them. That's what they yeah. want is to get and to I, you. He to was get talking attention. mainly with her husband. You know what I mean? And no, then I she know, jumped but I'm just in. saying in general. You know but what I, I mean? Yeah, just yeah, unless yeah. somebody. Um, the only way I would I would respond, Chris. I'm gonna be honest. Look, no First, one I would, Rob, blo- the, I I would block here that you would walk away. <laughs> I would block you on Twitter, block you on Instagram, and then I would get security. I don't believe it. I know you, man. You would not. You would be talking back to. You know you would. Don't be. Any long-time listener to this show knows. Rob G, would Rob just not say anything? <laughs> of course not. I was there when he Stop. had it out with the Apollo local cashier. That's right. right. And That's he's right. like, what do you mean you're out of Diet Coke? I come here every day. This is foul. And I'll block you on my Instagram. And they're like, That's sir, right. I don't follow you on Instagram. Well, you're blocked anyway. So, so when she did eventually join in, she couldn't get to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay.